Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining our SCARTIGO virtual open house. Um, I wanna welcome everybody. My name is Janice Labrado. I am the Director of Accessible Services and part of my responsibilities are overseeing the eligibility for paratransit program, the Mobility Advisory Council, as well as District ADA compliance. Um, we, um, SACRT is, as you all know, I believe, um, responsible to provide ADA paratransit services that complement our regular fixed route. And since the inception of the ADA, we have been um, contracting with Paratransit Incorporated to provide that service for us. So on effective June 28th, we are going to be taking the service back in-house and providing it directly with our operators, our reservationists, and our supervisors. So I, we're really excited um, for the transition. We would love to have had the um, opportunity to have some more live town halls like we did back in January. However, due to the pandemic, that is not um, obviously possible at this time. So I would like to take this opportunity to introduce part of the team. Not everybody is able to participate today because they're out there training operators and working with the reservationists and getting ready to welcome you on the 28th. Um, actually, we'll start taking reservations on the 26th for people who have trips um, on the 28th. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So with that, I would like to turn it over to Jamie Adelman. Hey, good morning. Thank you, Janice. Hi, my name is Jamie Allen. I'm the AVP of Finance and Treasury for SACRT, and I'm one of the co-transition managers for this project. And um, just so everybody knows, we are eight days out from our first pullout of service on Sunday, June 28th. And um, we will be starting taking reservations on Friday, June 26th with our 321 bus number. And I'm sure you all saw that on the letter that came out, and hopefully everybody got a copy of that. And if you're watching us, and I know you're watching on YouTube live, please feel free to use the chat function to submit questions because we are going to be answering any live questions that come in later. And with that, I'd like to introduce my co-transition manager. This is Carmen Alba. Hi, good morning, everybody. Again, my name is Carmen Alba. I'm also one of the project managers for this transition. I'm currently acting vice president of operations. I'm happy to be on board at uh, SAC RT team. We're looking forward to this transition. Just want to share that I have over 16 years of experience in public transportation, and all of those years are in paratransit. I started my career in Dallas, Texas, as an operations manager um, and have continued um, providing paratransit services uh, throughout my career. So I'm really excited about this project. I look forward to serving many of you. I hope I can um, meet some of you soon. Thank you for participating today. Thank you, Carmen. And with that, I'm gonna pull up um, a presentation and just some information that we'd like to share with everybody. Okay. So we did talk about, Janice mentioned the rest of the team is uh, busy working and they are very busy. I can guarantee that we're working um, pretty much seven days a week to make sure that this transition is as smooth as possible for our customers. So quickly I'll run through the rest of the team. Um, the first one I'd like to mention is Dan Tao. He's our director of community and contract bus services. Ultimately, he'll be responsible for overseeing all the paratransit or the Sacramento service. Um, you, you saw from and heard from Janice a few moments ago. Um, the next person is Charity Oakley. She's a transportation superintendent here for SACRT. We have Kathy Sijin. She is our paratransit operations manager and probably a familiar name for a lot of you out there. Uh, we also have John Lee. He's an assistant paratransit operations manager. And uh, last but certainly not least, we have Wendy Mouton, who is also Assistant Paratransit Operations Manager. So we have built a really strong team here at SACRT to ensure that we have top quality service for our customers. The next um, aspect that I'd like to discuss this morning is our dispatching and scheduling software. So we did talk a lot about this at our um, January open houses and we provided information and in, in hopes that this would really help um okay what you have make, no plastic oh sorry can um anybody mute if you're not talking 
Thank Sorry, one second. Jan um, Janice, could you mute Mo? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I just did. Thank you. Um, so the scheduling and dispatching software we think is going to help improve the service for our riders. This is going to provide a um, what we think is a more efficient service to hopefully um, avoid those situations that we heard from a lot of people of having to drive across town to drop somebody off before you get dropped off. Um, we can't guarantee that that's not going to happen in the future, obviously, but we're really hoping that this software is going to help us make improvements. Um, one other thing with this software, uh, question came up yesterday. We had a virtual town town hall yesterday also about um, the mobile application that's going to be accessible with this new software. We will be launching a mobile application after our go live that will enable people to uh, book trips online and also um, pay for their fare online if they're paying for a single ride. And a question came up about the accessibility of that mobile application, which is a very uh, good and valid question. And so we did a little more research and we have um, some very good information that, um, you know, Ethelene is the owner of that application, but they have been working tirelessly and also working for the, with the Society of the Blind to ensure that that application is fully accessible. And um, SACRT will be bringing this mobile application to the Mobility Advisory Council at SACRT, the MAC is what we call it, um, to get their feedback and input and um, kind of demo the uh, application before it goes live on the SACRT Go service. So I just wanted to give everyone a brief update on our dispatching and scheduling software. So the fair media, I think this is, oh, so it looks like one question already popped up and it was, is um, Ecolane replacing Trapeze software? And the answer to that is yes. SACRT will be utilizing Ecolane for all dispatching of our SACRT Go, uh, SACRT Go service. Um, so the next topic is our SACRT Go fair media. Um, big picture is that the fair media has not changed. Um, the, the only change that you'll see is the elimination of the 44 ride pass. Um, but what we've done is we've included um, access to route on the 60 ride monthly pass at the same price. So I think it's a better value for our customers and um, easier to manage for individuals also. So the $5 single rides are available for purchase via phone, via mail and order form at our SACRT customer service center and obviously cash on vehicle. And then I mentioned that you will also be able to purchase um, single rides via the mobile application when we launch that. Um, the 60 ride monthly pass, which includes the access to SACRT fixed route service um, and is ADA only, ADA only trips, I should say, is available for purchase also via phone, via mail and order form and our SACRT customer service locations. Um, finally, the Ulta Pass, which I know is important to a lot of riders, um, I'm happy to say that there are absolutely no changes to that Ulta Pass. Um, we will be working with Ulta Regional, just like Paratransit Inc. worked with them. So we will be receiving eligibility lists from Ulta on a periodic basis. And as long as your name um, appears on that eligibility list, you will be able to continue to take your rides um, for free, but Ulta will be uh, covering the, the cost of your ride. And to provide some clarification, there has been no change to the cost of non-ADA rides. Those are still $5 per trip. And um, just so you know, when I say uh, available for purchase via phone, um, the flyer that y'all received in the mail gave the number 321-2877 or 321-BUS. And when you dial that number, starting next week, when you select option two, it will be all SACRT Go. So when you want to purchase Fair Media, you'll call that 321-2877, select option two, and then listen for your options in there. And option four will be to purchase Fair Media. And that'll take you where you need to go to be able to purchase via phone. Oops. Janice, you want to talk about our fleet? Oops. Okay, this is Janice again. Um, oh, can you go back to the fleet? Okay, so the, um, on the screen, um, there's a picture of what our buses will look like. 
Um, they look similar to the current buses that are currently picking you up. They have a dark blue on top and a gold, an RT gold on the bottom. And there's white in the middle between about the window and just right above the wheel well. And on the side of the vehicle, we have the SAP RT Go logo, um, fairly large with paratransit services under it. The SAC is um, a dark blue color, and then the RT is a bright gold and bolded, and the GO is also bolded a which, with a pink G and our SAC RT um, logo as these um, O and GO. We also have the same logo in the back of the vehicle as well as across the hood of the vehicle. So they are similar vehicles to what you have been um, Currently riding, we did um, some of our some of the vehicles um, that Paratransit was using were actually at RT owned, and some of those are coming back. However, we have um, new vehicles that we will be providing most of the service with. Great, thank you, Janice. Okay, I wanted to share with you all a little bit of behind the scenes actions that's been happening. Uh, we've been working on this effort since September and we've been trying to communicate with our riders and um, our potential and future employees during this whole time period. So let me just go over a few of these pictures here. On the top left, that's actually me standing there behind that mask, standing outside of our Sacartigo Operations Center. And we were really excited about that. That Operations Center is going to be the home for our dispatchers, our reservationists, and our management team for the Sacartico service. Um, on the top right, we had to make um, its pictures of uh, two of our staff members here that provide new employee orientation training to um, our brand new staff at SACRT. So here though, due to COVID, we had to make some modifications because of social distancing and um, making sure that we keep our employees um, safe and healthy. So we had a couple of our employees actually film and record their trainings so that we could have less people in a room so on the on the left, the first picture there is Lydia Tame. She's one of our labor relations analysts, and she provided our drug and alcohol training. And then on the right there is Greg Walters. He works in our equal employment opportunity um, division, and he provided the discrimination and harassment prevention training to all of our new employees. On the bottom left, you'll see the, the group there. There's a bunch of us. Um, that was when we actually did a outreach for potential employees um, back in the um, fall. You can see 127 days left at that point. My goodness, how time flies. Here we are eight days out from our launch. So in that picture, we've got representatives from our um, ATU, which is our local union group that represents our bus operators. And then um, Carmen, Janet, myself, Janelle, who's our HR manager, Dan Tao, and then also Steve Booth, who's our AVP, Assistant Vice President over Labor Relations and HR. So a good cross section there of SACRT employees and um, representative from our bargaining groups. On the bottom right, picture with the bus, you can see Wade standing there. He was getting ready to go out and do some behind the wheel assessment training with our with our new operators. And then on the, the bottom right, the farthest to the right, you can see our facilities gentlemen in the orange shirts and Dan, our fearless IT um, uh, analyst who's been helping us get all of the rooms set up and drop all the cabling and all the wiring and everything that needs to happen to be able to support our dispatching and uh, reservation center. So there's been a lot of work happening and really a transition like this, it touches every single department at SACRT. So it's been a great team effort and um, we're all geared up and ready to make it happen. So I'll turn it back over to Janice. Okay, so these are some of the questions that came in prior to the open house. So we're gonna share them with everybody because I'm sure you have some of the same questions. Um, one of the questions we received was, will any of the policies change? The answer to that question is no. SACRT has always determined policies that are related to paratransit service. All policies will still be in effect on the day of transition. Do I have to recertify my eligibility for the new service? The answer is also no. 
Uh, my shop on um, accessible services does do the eligibility for paratransit and we have done so for at least the last 20 plus years. So your eligibility is still valid and nothing will change with that process. So this was a big one. Will SAC RT provide non-ADA service? In the past, RT was responsible for the service that was ADA required, which is service that is within three quarters of a mile of a RT um, active bus, bus route or light rail station. Um, and Paratransit Inc. provided the non-ADA service with its own funding. They're all provided to ADA eligible clients. But we thought it would be very difficult for somebody to have to call perhaps one number for their outbound trip and another number for their inbound trip because it is possible that one trip could be um, ADA required and then maybe the return trip because it was later in the evening was not. So we will be doing both the non-ADA service and the ADA service. And then what number do I call to book a trip? We've been getting this question for a while and we were finally able to share. Um, it will be 916-321-2877 or BUSS. And it will be option two to get into the SACRT Go queue. Um, for reservations or to book a ride, you will again select option number two. And there'll be different options for um, different divisions for um, accessible services. It is one, and then there's other options for um, the where's my bus, et cetera. Will I still be able to call two days in advance and during the same hours? The answer is yes. We will still accept reservations between one to two days ahead of the day of the trip. The reservation call center hours will be between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Um, so you have to call before 5 p.m. for next day rides. Um, we are looking at, at some point um, soon, implementing an online and mobile app request. And as Jamie has um, already stated, yeah. um, the um, Equal Lane, who is the vendor, has worked extensively with the um, Society for the Blind on this to ensure um, accessibility for folks who have visual impairments, and we will be getting the latest and greatest version. But with that said, that will be going to the Mobility Advisory Council prior to any implementation. Will I be able to keep my subscription right after the, the transition? Yes, um, Paratransit sent us over a list of all the current um, subscription trips. My staff has been working at contacting each and every person to find out, um, to get you know any information that we needed to um, validate the trips. I know a lot of them are currently on hold due to um, people working from home or day programs being closed. Um, so if you have any concerns about your subscription trip that you currently have, please call Accessible Services and we will be happy to um, ensure that we have the information. And will I still be able to use my Alta Pass? Yes, we are still, we are working with Alta. We um, we will be working with them. To, they have already sent us a list of all of the eligible clients at this time. So those clients, we will um, be billing Alta directly for their fares. And how is SACRT handling COVID-19? So we are taking extraordinary measures to ensure the safety of our customers and employees. We are fogging vehicles daily. We are also providing extra cleaning to high touch surfaces. All of our vehicle operators are wearing masks. We're encouraging our um, riders to wear masks. And we actually may be implementing a mandatory mask policy, except where in cases um, it is, um, people aren't able to wear a mask due to their disability. So now I'll turn it over to Jamie for um, any live questions that you may have. Oh, and one more thing, um, a question did come in um, later yesterday after we had ended the session and it was about um, the magnets because we are looking at sending out um, some magnets to everybody with our SACRT GO number. And we will be also um, providing those magnets um, in braille format. So Jamie. Great, thank you, Janice. So we did have another question come in and it says, what will happen to paratransit's building? 
And um, paratransit is um, not closing. They provide other services for the region and other um, services for different transit agencies around the country. So their building will remain. SACRT is collaborating with Paratransit Inc. And we are actually leasing some office and yard space to dispatch um, 50 of our vehicles from that location. Um, we have made the decision to split up our kind of our dispatching locations throughout the region to try and improve efficiencies and reduce what we call deadhead, which is um, productive time, basically, with the time that it takes the operator to get to the individual to pick them up for their for the first trip for the day. So we are actually going to be dispatching from four different locations. We'll have a Florin location. We'll have a downtown Midtown location. Um, we have a location at McClellan Air Force Base. And then we will also have um, some vehicles pulling out from the um, kind of like Folsom Rancho Cordova border over at our, from our Hazel Light Rail Station. We'll see if any other um, questions pop up during our live chat here. I'm just thinking about some of the questions because today is the second day um, that we did this virtual town hall. I'm just wondering if anybody out there wants to tell me how you heard about it and um, also at the same time say thank you for joining us today. So we don't have any new questions popping up, but um, Janice, was there anything else that you wanted to share this morning or any questions that came up yesterday that I'm not remembering or that we want to touch on? Um, I'm trying to think. Anyone else feel free to jump on if um, Laura or... Norman. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Lisa heard about us from um, the mail that we sent out. Great, I'm glad to hear that you got that. You'll be getting some more um, outreach from SACRT. Janice mentioned those magnets, so we're going to get those out to um, get those out to our writers. Make sure you've got the number right there on your refrigerator at home. Be able to call, program in your phone, or use however it's appropriate for you. I do want to say if anybody has any questions or thinks of anything after um, this YouTube video, feel free to reach out to Accessible Services with any questions that you have, or we'll be happy to answer them. Yeah, and I know that it, some people were trying to use the 321 bus option too this last week, and it was still going to our Connect Card um, division. And, um, you know, we wanted to get that mailer out. We wanted to get the information to y'all as soon as possible. And we're still actively working on building out the new um, IVR system. And that should be ready for us next week. So rest assured when you call next week and you're um, 321-2877, selecting option two, we're going to get you to um, the SACRT Go system. And um, if you do have any other questions, our customer service team can definitely forward you on to accessible is in the meantime. So it doesn't look like we've got a big crowd today, but, um, you know, always email or questions can be submitted. Like Janice said, you can call accessible services. Um, we have online forums that you can reach out to us on our website. You can check us out. Go to sacrtgo.com and see the system. We have a lot of good information out there, information for the riders, FAQs. And, um, you know, we try to provide as much information as possible out for our riders. So doesn't look like we have anything else coming in. They could also email their questions to paratransit at sacrt.com and that goes directly to accessible services if you would prefer to ask your question that way. That's another Great. option. Thank you for that, Janice. Um, and that was paratransit at sacrt.com. 
for with any questions. Um, so Carmen, did you, was there anything you'd like to add before we end our town hall today? I would just like to encourage everyone to now, to, now through this time of transition, I'd like to encourage you to talk to us. Let us know what you'd like to improve. Let us know what we're doing right. Uh, we really are open to your feedback. Your feedback is very important to us. So um, we're listening. Please keep that in mind. Great. So with that, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up. And just a reminder, one last time for everybody that um, service begins on Sunday, June 28th, and reservations start on Friday, June 26th. And the reservation hours are 8 to 5 for booking all of your trips. And um, leading up to that point, if you need to make any changes to trips or have any questions, please continue to call Paratransit, Inc. But then starting on June 26th for trips on June 28th, please call SACRT GO. Thank you all very much for joining us today. Thank you, everyone.